Hello everybody, the Drafter here and welcome back to Chrono Trigger for Nintendo DS and this is episode number 8 uh, let's load the game where are we? Fiendish uh, Folk, ah yes 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 I remember we are outside of the Hekran cave we gotta go in and we have Marley and Luca uh, apparently in the last episode my voice acting of Robo was quite appreciated, so yeah, why not? <laughs> I keep doing it. I also have fun doing some voice acting, so yeah, you get that. Uh, those guys are probably a bit resilient to um, melee attack, but that's not such a big deal because yeah, Chrono has the counter attack. You can see that he's quite powerful. Uh, this scenario is a bit long. Let's see if we can make it in one episode. And unfortunately, in this cave, there is no music. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know why the developers choose not to play any music here. But yeah, that is the combat music, which is also nice. And we are gonna. The gym battle is gonna get. Whoa, still MP. That is mean, mean, mean combo. Uh, antipod bomb uh, that is something too powerful so let's go with a single attack ice and maybe we can do a uh, fire wheel can we get more than one of those guys no right okay so Clo Corona is gonna just attack this and the look guy is gonna flamethrower Eventually, to this guy here, if he does not die. Uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, nice. So, second target, I mean, next target is this guy, which is dying. Great. And now a bunch of melee attack on the last Cape Stalker. Miss. Nice. Perfect. To get rid of him. Chrono got a Hakata bit beaten in this last fight, but yeah, we can always go to the menu, healing with the aura, so here we can, I ah, know that's not the room where you can uh, walk on the water or something like that, oh those guys, those guys are quite terrible, so let's try with a fire wheel, oh dang it they moved, ah that is so bad, Okay, let's lightning this guy. Uh, the other two girls are gonna attack this guy. I think I think the ice from Marley should be plenty. Yeah, let's go off. Uh, yeah, the monster as we know. I don't remember who told us that, but the enemies in this cave are very weak to magic. And okay, there was something to do down there, but there is a chest here, so let's grab the chest. Oh, that's a bunch of monsters here. Let's just lightning, ice, and fire them. And hopefully, nobody will get hurt here, other than the monsters. Uh, this guy is too close to Marley, don't like that. You are gonna flamethrower this guy, Luca. And let's see if it's powerful enough, otherwise Chrono is close and can hit him with a counter attack, right? No. Fail. Ah, uh, there's probably not a lot of dialogue here. Oh, that was bad. Okay, ice and flamethrower. Those guys are very, very resistant to physical attacks, so yeah, magic should do it. Okay, nice. Chrono level increase, which is awesome. And let's grab the chest up here. What is in the chest? If I can grab it. Ether. Okay, kind of. So there is one passage here and another passage down here. Uh, let's go take a look here first. 
something hidden here? No, no, no. And oh, there's a chest here. I remember this. Okay. Uh, now you little bondillo, just bundle up together and let me fire weary you. Like that, almost. That's good enough. Fire wheel those two and ice on this one. Let's see if the physical part affects the attack. No, good stuff. Marley with the ice. Nice. <laughs> ice, nice. Okay. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> and 3 dp I made the potion, no new techniques. I should take a look and uh, check where we can learn new techniques. Oh, there are some crazy bats here which are gonna move a lot. Uh, I think... Let's see, now they are super resistant, so... Okay, so let's see, flamethrower... Uh, only two, that's fine. Ice for Marley, let's see if it's enough for them. No, it's not. Hmm. Well, anyways, that will do. Let's see a single attack, if it works, so I don't consume all my MP. In fact, I will shoot here at some point. Ah, oh, dang it. One. Okay. Next. Next. Uh, after the, this fight, I'm gonna heal Chrono. For sure. And the second flamethrower should be enough to get rid of them. Yeah. So let's go to the menu. And hopefully Marley increase. Nice. Let's see if it's going and acting crazy or not. Let's see. No? Okay. Great. Perfect. So one for you. And I think one for Luca. She has a bit of a low HP. And now we can get our prize, which is a magic scarf. Magic scarf? It's interesting. Mm, let's see. Guardian bangle. Speed belt. Uh, let's see. Let's give the magic scarf to, to Marley, which will give her more magic. Unfortunately, defense and stamina are going to drop, but it's fine. Luca is staying with the speed belt because Luca is very slow. So now we have to fight again those three guys. No, those four guys here, most likely, and that's unfortunate. Let's see if we can circle here and avoid the fight. Yes. And next room will be full of scary. Oh, there is a fly in my room. Ah, help. Okay. Four of those guys. If they bundle up together, a fire wheel will be perfect. Uh, closer. Okay, stay. Let's see if we can get at least three of them. No, go close together. Ah, they never listen, then, don't they? And, okay, that's good enough. So we can get those three and ice from Marley. We're never gonna get all four of them at once, so three is fine, I guess. Wapow! And 4 TP, hit potion, ah oh, dang it, no new techniques. Well now it will take a bit because they have to learn some advanced magic stuff. Oh no, first there is a non-magic attack. This is bad, it's gonna, oh miss, nah thankfully. So probably, and I say probably, the flamethrower is gonna get all three of them. Yes, which is awesome. But it's not gonna kill all three of them. So, and they're moving like crazy. Okay, if they stay like that, uh, we're gonna score. Ah, dang it. We're gonna score nothing because one is behind us. Okay, let's see if, if he moves a bit. It would be awesome. It would be super awesome. No, move a bit. Alright. Flamethrower. Uh, let's see. Flame roar. No. Okay, now. Flamethrower. Those two guys. And I guess... Oh, Chrono is 
asleep or something? Yeah, he's asleep. Marles MP are going down very quickly because she had to heal and uh, she's con constantly using two MPs uh, differently than Luca that is using only one. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that the before the final boss of this cave there will be a safe spot where we can use a shelter. Oh, there is a secret, um, a secret chest here. A mysteriously shut chest. I'm gonna skip that guy for sure. And this is where we nicely and uh, effortlessly <laughs> walk on the water. Oh, there it is. Our shelter. And let's see. Okay, we can save the game. First, yet let's use a shelter. I think I should have plenty. You yeah, are 19. Full party is full, and now we can save. And this is how we save the game. Yes. We are in the present now, as the save point uh, stated for us. There you go. Death to the enemies of mankind. Whoa, look at the big boss, Hecran. That's his cave, so his name is Hecran. So now, let's see. Antipod bomb. This should be our most powerful attack. Uh, because it combines fire and ice, and this enemy is pretty weak to magic. In fact, Chrono is doing nothing. So, while Chrono uses lightning, uh, Luca will use fire, and Marley is probably going to heal. Oh, that's a big, big attack. Uh, uh, okay, lightning. Marley is gonna heal. And Luca is gonna fire. Oh, she already fired her fire blast or fireball. We, we really had to. Okay, now we just wait that these guys. Uh, that this guy. Uh, Stop protecting him. Yes, going to wreck that stand disengaged. Uh, I think we can afford another antipode bomb and the lightning. So if you attack that guy while he's uh, raging at you or taunting you, you will get a counter attack, which is pretty strong. So don't do that and <laughs> just wait. Uh, this guy has a lot of HP, but. 39 is fine. We can lightning. Now let's see if we can afford another antipod bomb which should close the fight. I believe he, he has something like 1000 HP, 1500 HP. We should be. Ah, uh, not yet, not yet. Okay, Chrono, lightning. You're the man, Chrono. Show us. Generate Cyclone, okay, that, that calls for a quick healing from Marley. And Aura on Luca. Technique Fire and Lightning again from Chrono. I think I'm gonna uh, fire Aura Whirl next turn. Nope, we have to heal again. Just Luca, uh, that's the way it goes. So Lightning. There's no point in attacking him with uh, other... Yay! Okay. Yay for you, my man! <laughs> and I hope he's gonna try and counter-attack. Yes, so we can heal twice, I think. Uh, almost tempted to use a potion. Since very soon those potions are not gonna be used at all. Like, at all. And... Out of here just to top up everyone. So let's wait for the monster to disengage the counter-attack stance. And... And it's gonna be an antipod bomb for you. And the light. Wow! We 
this guy's stuff. Huh? There's a lot of HP, at least. It's the first enemy with a lot of HP that we find. So, yeah. Uh, you can cycle. Um, I mean, lightning him. And then the Marley will heal. Oh, we're done. Yeah, 250, 10 TP, and then, oh, 1500 gold. Look, I level up, which is awesome. If only Lord Magus had destroyed the human race 400 years ago when he first brought forth Lavos. The world would belong to us friends now. Grog. And so long, Mr. Hecran. Haha. -ha. So, Magus created Lavos in the Middle Ages. And in the future, Lavos destroys the planet. If we go to the Middle Ages and stop Magus, we can change history? If we use the gate at the fairgrounds, hmm, we should use the gate at the fairgrounds then. Jump in, yes, let's jump into pools of water which contains dark water. But there is a magic uh, whirlpool here which brings us close to Lucas house. Woohoo, that's awesome. Uh, let's take some time now to talk to Lucas family. Because I think there was something interesting here. At least there will be. I'm not sure if it's now or later. Uh, there is a sad side story here. Uh, look at Taban are always off thinking on their latest inventions. There it is, that's Taban. I brought you this apple with with what we earned today. Woohoo! Oh, you're so thoughtful. He just brought an apple to his wife. Yeah, uh, Luca's mom unfortunately cannot walk. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, there was an accident, we're gonna see that uh, in the future, or in the past, or, yeah. So I believe it's Luca, Luca, uh, Luca's room. Oh, there's Taban there, cool. Let's take a look at the last room here. Oops, this one. Oh no, we looked at this at the kitchen. Let's go back and let's talk to Taban, Luca's there. Oh, perfect timing! Taban's best, woohoo! Another great invention just completed. The ultimate in defense for my beautiful daughter. Which is pretty awesome. Because this armor gives Luca also speed. Uh, two points in speed and one uh, additional point in defense rather than the titanium vest. Which is great. So now her speed is 10. Uh, faster than Marley. Which is great. But we're gonna stay with the speed. Uh, belt or speed scarf, I don't remember. So that Luca is super fast. And now let's do something else super funny. Let's go home. Let's present mom more friends. <gasps> Chrono! Oh, Chrono, you had me so worried. They said you were to be executed. Don't worry your mother like that. Oh, poor mom. She's, she's afraid. So now that we've done that, Let's go back and see if we can present her Luca. Yes, she moved to the kitchen. Hi! Hello Luca, you haven't been coming by much lately. We have been busy with my research. Well, don't push yourself too hard and say hello to your parents for me, won't you? Sure, sure. Hehe, <laughs> no, let's do this. Uh, let's go to our room and let's sleep. <laughs> We are sleeping in the room with two girls. <laughs> ah, look at him. Oh, you're the man, Chrono. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> no. um, I guess we can... Oh, there was something here, if I'm not wrong. Because there was uh, that guy we saved in the dungeons. Welcome, come on in and have a... Oh, Chrono, oh, you really saved my neck. I wouldn't be here right now if it, if it weren't for you. Woohoo! Was I ever in a tight spot? I have to go and blah blah blah. That was all well and good, but then some soldiers showed up at the inn where I was staying to arrest the gang of thieves and mistook me for one of the criminals. I missed one in the dialogue window thing. They wouldn't listen to a word I said. They were going to execute me just like that. So, woo, how are you one? We are in your debt. Thank you ever so much. Don't tell my dad I gave you these. Woohoo, 10 meat adders. Nice. Ah, oh, there's the dad. 
Uh, the, the dead? You're not shirking off, are you? I, um, I mean, of course not, dead. No, 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 of course not. Well, alright then. Oh no, I appreciate what you did. Oh, you're very welcome. A lot of nice people in this game. Uh, down to business. Do we need something from this guy? Potion, meat potion, panacea, shelter. I uh, don't think so. Crimson blade is all outdated stuff. So let's get going. Uh, thanks. Thanks to you, my man. And I believe there is nothing. Oh, can we go into the southern continent? Just out of curiosity. Yes, we can. Uh, Zenon Bridge. Well, we can go down here, but there's not much to do here at the moment. But yeah, we can just take a look. Visit another town. There is a market, a snail stop, a residence, and all this stuff. But we are gonna come here uh, later in the game, so let's not waste our time now. And let's keep going with the story of the game. I would like to take a look at the Zenon Bridge though. Uh, okay, that's all peaceful. That's the bridge that was destroyed in the Middle Ages. So now it should be uh, different, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's just go up and skip all these. The fair, Millennium Fair. Now there is not really, really much else to do here. And we are off to the past again, to the Middle Age. To check if we can somehow stop Magus by doing something terrible, like awakening Lavos. And the two more pillars are active now. Where is this pillar going? Truce Canyon. Uh, uh, oh yes, that's where we have to go next. This is Lina Square. Nice. Uh, I am fully healed. I'm gonna talk to the man just to see what he has to say. Oh, come and see whenever blah blah blah. Okay, nothing new. And let's save the game here in the end of time. And let's get going. Let's get going through Truce Canyon 600 AD. Yes. Let's keep this party. Let's get this party started with Marley and Luca together with Chrono. Pretty much during through all the during, during the whole adventure you're gonna control Chrono. Always. You can't really swap him. But yeah, let let's not waste the surprise. So now those guys are pretty weak, so one hit also from Luca and Marley should be enough to kill them. And no, dang it. But anyways, almost one hit. We're good, we're good. We're traveling down here, we're trying to skip those guys playing ball. Because they're just nice and they're having their fun. And now we can go into Quartia Forest, trying to snatch another shelter, if possible. And there you go, the funny monster drops a shelter. Let's try to skip all the rest. And perfect. And now, uh, why did I come here? Hmm, let's go in the castle and let's go... Halt, who goes there? Oh, it's you again. Nice. Yeah, let me go. Uh, let's go in the kitchen. Let's see what's going on in the kitchen. I, I know there will be something going on. Or maybe the event... Yeah, the cook is pretty... pretty hectic. Come on out! Time is wasting! Yeah. Okay, nothing. Oh, there's a chest here. There is a chest here. Hmm. Not sure if I should grab it, but there are no kitchens in the future. So, let's get the other. Ah, we're just losing one item. That's okay. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't really remember, so... Yeah. Better and nether today than nothing tomorrow. Let's see. Um, that was a bit of a sidetrack. I shouldn't have gone, gone into the castle just right now. But we're snatching another shelter, I guess. We are instead heading for the bridge. The Zenon Bridge. That's why I wanted to go there in the past. 
because yay now they repaired it but there's something wrong because even if I'm pushing down it's not going down so there is definitely something going on on the bridge let's save the game uh, middle ages perfect uh, let's see okay the whole guard garrison is here provisions are depleted at this price is not arrived we will starve blah 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 so now talk let's talk to everyone we sent our order orders finest night to march on the enemies in order to ensure the hero safe passage the hero uh, the story of the uh, man, 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 but now he's come. Oh, there's the hero. The hero is coming. The PR men and the funeral lords are locked in battle upon the bridge. May we emerge victorious, for sure. Could the hero alone truly have power to defeat the enemy fiends? Fiends? Uh, now we have to unlock this thing here. Because there is the commander. Uh, that is afraid that they're gonna starve so now we should go to the kitchen and talk to the ch to the chef and tell him hey man uh, our troops are starving give us food and stuff and drinks and everything else you got in your uh, awesome kitchen cupboards and ovens and everything else so that the garrison can eat and feed the monsters so now, let's see if this is what we have to do, I believe, is this so, but you never know, it's been a long time since I played. What? My brother's larders are nearly empty? Ah, Her serves him right, thinking you, Mammoth's word, are the only one protecting this kingdom. Okay, enough of that. Are you never gonna to set aside your petty felt? You're a grown man, act like it. Yeah, whatever. Mind your business! What do you know of it anyway? Grumble, grumble, grumble. So he's pretty pissed off that we came to ask him for food. But. Uh, hey, wait! Ha! Huh. Pound wheats! Take these for the troops! Speedy juicy, chew jerky. And this is for you here! A strong capsule! Nice! So the chef has a nice side. When you see that full brother of mine telling me he had better come back alive, he likes his brother. Okay, now we have the food, the stuff. We also got a string capsule. Usual ritual of snagging a shelter from this guy. And then we are on our way out of here again onto the bridge. The Zenon Bridge. And let's save the game again, because now there is some fighting going on, if I'm not mistaken. Hero appears. The hero appears. Oh, that's the name of this chapter. The hero appears. So there is a fabled hero uh, that... Oh, what's going on here? So there is a hero who will defeat the fiends. That's the prophecy. Ah, oh, Lord Chrono, what word? Let's give him the food. Ah, oh, he brought us food. It was my brother, I see. He saved us all. Guys, the food arrived. Lord Chrono, if I should not return alive, give my brother my thanks. Oh, that's nice. But there's something going on on the bridge. Magus troops have launched their attack. Our defenses will not hold. You are knights of the guardyard. Find the owner of our order and drive the enemy back whence it come. But we're outnumbered! They're outnumbered. This is our last line of defense. It must not break! Very well, my lord! Yeah, that's not gonna cut. Let's stop this guy. Oog. Yes, Oog to say. So, this is pretty nasty because the skeletons are attacking and killing our monsters. Oog, who's that green guy? I'm Ozzy. Nice name. One of Lord Magus' three generals. And to his enemies, I grant death. Ooh, he's Ozzy. Go, my children, take him to Earth. Hmm, I should use another voice for Ozzy. Maybe. <laughs> Go, my children, take him to their graves. Something like that. Okay, technique. Uh, let's do a wind slash. A wind slash actually hit all three of them. Look at that. How nice. Uh, yeah, um, Ozzy is kind of uh, immune to physical, you have to use magic attacks, but yeah. 
Uh, okay, those guys too are kind of immune. Uh, okay, we have our wheel, and now we have a uh, fire wheel on those two, and uh, ice on us. Yeah, because the wind slash is wind, so it has some magic elements in it. It's not super strong because Chrono is kind of a weaker magic user. But yeah. Oz is in a pickle. And XP and TP. Herb. Stronger than I thought. Yeah, we're stronger than you thought. Uh, let's keep past those guys. Wait up already! Same, I misjudged you in the first time, but I won't do that twice! Haha! <laughs> Let's raise more skeletons, dang it! Slay them all! Yeah! No, you're not gonna make it. Um, okay. Firewheel is gonna hit those two guys, and Ice is gonna hit this guy. I don't think the. Uh, yeah, it's not enough. The fire wheel is not enough. But we can perform another one. As soon as the uh, time bar, the action bar goes back, we're actually doing uh, just a wind slash. And she's gonna flamethrower at Ozzy to let him. Uh, free again, I guess. Yeah, okay. XP, TP, that's a lot of TP, actually. Which is nice. Threat! Haha, <laughs> threat! Okay, now that's the end of the line for you, Ozzy. That, that's it! This time you're finished! I made it! Isn't it about time you give up? You give up? My sweet chrono, and you'll be sorry! <laughs> There's a lot of skeletons. They are whirling around. <gasps> oh boy. This is a scary monster. Huh. Gold Zomber! Crash Lord Pegasus' enemies! Ooh, ooh, this is Zomber. A pretty scary monster. But, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. But the antipode bomb can hit both parts of the monster. I think dealing damage to both. The lower one is kind of immune to Gra. Gra is bad, right? The lower part is kind of immune to uh, magic. I mean, it actually gets healed by magic, but uh, until we defeat the upper part, we can still use the antipod bomb because that's the attack that does the most, dam uh, the most damage of all. Another Kra. Uh, probably we're gonna skip this uh, for healing. Or uh, maybe not. Antipode bomb is the way. And attack. Wapow! MP Buster still is MP. That means that the upper part is gone. But the bad news is that Marley. Is out of MPs, which means item, Heather, and Marley. And you two guys, uh, you're gonna attack relentlessly with physical attacks. Body drop from the Zombar legs on Chrono. That's the, that's the thing. Uh, why? Ah, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's do a round of healing. Gra, this is gonna hurt all of us, but we have the fancy Aura Wheel, and Lucas is just gonna attack uh, with her pistol, because the lower part is uh, absorb absorbs, that, 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 that's not nice to see, because that means that one character is gonna die when this guy is gonna reach him, and we're not gonna be happy with that. Yep. So, items, Athenian water, and touch aura. Um, look, look, look. Okay. Ooh, that was scary. Okay. Uh, let's cyclone. Cyclone should be just physical attack, no elements. 73. 
I don't think that does much more damage than a regular attack. But yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Gra. Uh, body drop. And 42 damage. Okay. I guess... Oh, critical hit. Perfect. Nice. A critical hit from Marley too. And normal hit from Luca. Gra. That's Gra for all. And I think... Well, at least uh, Luca needs to be healed. So let's do the first. Oh no, another round of death, death, death. So, hmm, attack, attack. Hopefully, we can kill him before he reaches anybody. Hopefully. His HP should be pretty low now. Let's smash the button furiously. He's going towards Chrono. Ooh, that was close. Well done, Chrono. 10 TP, a lot of. Uh, goals and XP. So we did it. Let's go back to the captain. Let's tell him that we did it. Let's see. Uh, thanks to your aid, we were able to defend the bridge. But unless we defeat Magus, it is an empty victory. Hey, rejoice! We had we had such a great fight here, and we defeated Zombor, one mighty foe. So we are past the bridge, and yeah. Ooh, there was a there was a lot of action in this episode, not a lot of dialogues, but a lot of action. So let's set the game here, and yeah, we will continue in the next episode because we are probably past 30 minutes or something like that. So I'm um, I still hope that you're having fun with this series. Meanwhile, I'm practicing recording with the DS because, as you should know, in a couple of months. Pokemon Sun and Moon are gonna come out and I will probably do something with them, record or stream them, we'll see. So yeah, hope you're having a good time guys. I am definitely having a very good one playing Chrono Trigger again and I will hope to see you next time. Ciao ciao!